Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Old Time Rock and Roll. I'm your host, David Tear, where I've been featuring my personal top 3,000 songs of the rock era from 1954 to 1999. Today, I'm up to song number 2860, which is How Does That Grab You, Darling by Nancy Sinatra. This came out in 1966. It was released on her second album entitled How Does That Grab You? And... Uh, um, in case you guys don't know, Nancy Sinatra was the uh, oldest daughter of, uh, well, here's a picture of her. She she was known for her go-go boots. She was also very sexy, as you can tell. And I think that was a big reason she was very popular. But I think mainly because she was the, the daughter of uh, this guy here, Frank Sinatra. I'm sure you guys all know him. He's probably considered one of the greatest uh, singers of all time. He's pretty rock mainly, but... Um, I think he was a great singer, and actually, I have several of his songs on my list. By the way, even though he's not, he wasn't really a rock and roll singer. He, I don't think he even liked rock and roll. But, but I think he was an amazing singer and an amazing musician. And I do really like his music. And uh, um, anyway, uh, uh, and uh, uh, Nancy got her start in. Uh, she was born in in uh, Jersey City, New Jersey, in 1940, and she got her start on. The Frank Sinatra show. I guess Frank Sinatra had his own TV show for about three years, and she was featured on that show. This was on from 1957 to 1960. And you guys probably also know that Frank Sinatra was known for being part of this trio called the Rat Pack, which included Dean Martin. And here they show him with uh, Bing Crosby. He might have been part of the Rat Pack at one time, but I think Frank, I, I think Sammy Davis Jr. was as well. Um, I'm not an expert on this, but anyway, let's get back to Nancy, his daughter. So, so uh, I mean, you know, Nancy kind of epitomized a lot of the generation gap, I guess, because I think it's kind of ironic. I mean, Frank was very known for his kind of, kind of bluesy, you know, kind of swing music of the '40s and '50s, you know, kind of pre-rock music, and he didn't really identify himself with rock and roll, but his daughter Nancy did. As a matter of fact. She was a go-go dancer, and she also had some, you know, some pretty big rock and roll hits, including this one. That's a grabby darling. I'll just go through. She didn't have that many big hits. She had four top tens, I believe. Her first, which is also her most well-known, I think, is These Boots Are Made For Walking. That was her first number one. That was also her first big hit that came out earlier in 1966 this was her follow-up how does that grab you darling and they they're pretty similar sounding songs actually yeah you know i prefer these boots but this isn't a bad song either they're both kind of songs about you know her her kind of uh you know uh just uh, um, i guess asserting herself against her boyfriend like you know um, you're not going to mess with me, you know, uh, I'm out of here if you do, basically. You know, these boots are made for walking. I'm walking out on you. And sound the same thing. Like uh, she says in How Does It Grab You Dial and This Girl Is Leaving You Behind, you know. And she gives this analogy of, you know, having like a cat fight with them, which I think is kind of interesting, you know. Uh, but, you know, she had a couple other hits which didn't really sound like those two. Her next big hit was... Uh, called um sugar town this can't this was a hit in 1967 very different sounding song kind of a strange song not one of my favorites of hers and and then her she actually had one more number one song and this was a duet with her father surprisingly it was a romantic duet with her father which i think is kind of strange but it was called something stupid and that one went to number one as well and it's a pretty song but i just think it's a little strange that she sang it with her father you know i don't know what that was all about but uh uh she had one more song i liked it wasn't a top 10 but she had a song called jackson which was a country song and uh it was first recorded by this duet here uh, i'm sure you guys recognize the guy on the right that's uh, uh johnny cash he's a very another another very famous singer probably one of the most famous country singers of all time and the woman on his left was his wife, June Carter, who became June Carter Cash. And they had a hit with this song. They had the original version of Jackson, I think, before they were married. And I guess uh, uh, Nancy redid it. And she actually sang it along with, uh, um, who was it, uh, Lee Hazelwood. So she had another duet with Jackson. And 
You know, I kind of like Nancy Sinatra. I don't know why. I mean, I guess the big reason she was famous was because of her father. But I think she was a pretty good singer, and I do like her go-go uh, image. So anyway, uh, I guess that's part of the reason I featured this song on my list. Uh, anyway, that's my profile on How Does a Grab You Darling by Nancy Sinatra. Um, thank you for watching. You guys rock, and I'll see you next time.